So you may remember a few weeks ago I did a video on the soft shackles from George 4x4. This is a Queensland company, the All Australian Made. Uh, I actually since discovered they are actually handmade as well. So, um, uh, you know, they're quite impressive. And uh, I was actually quite impressed with the uh, last lot of uh, soft shackles that I decided to uh, branch out and get a couple more items. I got, uh, first let's talk about the uh, hitch. This is just a recovery hitch, uh, look pretty standard product. Interestingly, I can't actually weigh them, but this actually feels much heavier. So I'm pretty sure they're both steel. I'm not sure what sort of steel and all the, you know, finer details of it all. If you know, please let us know. But, uh, essentially, uh, they're very similar in design. They're, uh, you know, well, the new one's probably a tad shorter. Uh, look, that's, um, you know, a bit roughed up and, uh, you know, that's predominantly for my last Outback uh, trip. It was, I put that on the trailer uh, just as a safety measure and it uh, obviously took a bit of a beating with the, the sand down the back there and the dust uh, that got through it. But the main difference uh, between the two is um, the holes and it's the uh, rounded edges essentially in the holes. Now I will uh, give you a bit of a close up look at it as well. But uh, essentially, uh, if you look at the old one, um, it's got a really, and this is actually, I didn't realize how sharp an edge it actually had on it. And it's, um, you know, it's, I have used it with soft shackles before and uh, I will inspect my soft shackles now and make sure that there's uh, no visible damage. But I don't expect it's gonna ruin it, you know, in the you know first couple of instances. Uh, it might take a bit of a beating, but you will notice that over time it will uh, put some wear on your uh, soft shackles. So this one here has actually got rounded edges, so uh, designed specifically for the soft shackles, and uh, you don't need, uh, you know, your big ass soft, you know, big ass hard metal shackles, which again reduces a bit of the weight as well. You know, it just looks a bit sleeker on the back of uh, your car as well, and less visible to be honest, um, because I have had these things go missing. You know, if you leave your car around for too long, and I always make sure I uh, actually use a, you know, a lock pin to uh, secure that as well, preferably. We also uh, got that, so it, there was a, a deal going with the equalizer bridle strap. I can't remember the pricing, um, but if you go on the George 4x4 website, you will. It uh, actually uh, was a deal, and I think it's close to half price, so keep an eye out for those deals. Between the soft shackles and the um, bridle rope, so I actually bought the set just to save myself a little bit of money, and I will uh, actually use those as gift. Um, hopefully I've already handed that out before the um, video comes up. But uh, essentially the bridle rope is a 10 foot. It's the same um, design essentially. I'm pretty sure it's 11 mil, 10 foot. I think it's about 10 ton um, capacity. It uh, has the sleeves. Uh, it looks like it's actually uh, got a double sleeve there uh, by the looks of things. Uh, yeah, there you go. So it's got a double sleeve uh, there to uh, line it up and give a bit more protection uh, to the rope. So for those who don't know, uh, a bridle rope is essentially what you would attach to the two recovery points at the front. Now keep in mind those recovery points at the front too will not have those rounded edges. So um, I'd probably be likely that I'd be using the uh, hard shackles on that. And that's probably something for the manufacturers to start thinking about. Obviously we're going to need um, some better designed uh, recovery points that are more soft shackle friendly. But essentially these uh, get attached uh, at either end and it equalizes the uh, weight or the uh, force that's uh, applied to uh, your two recovery points. So as if you use one recovery point, I think it's technically to uh, handle the pull but you know you'd rather not do it you'd rather spread the weight between the two and that's the whole idea of that you know a little bit of uh, extra protection there or just you know keeps it a little bit tidy sleeve there to uh, protect and uh, cover that up oh there you go it's got the ratings there it's 11 millimeters at uh, 3 meters and uh, 10,000 kilos or 10 tons so made and tested in Australia by George 4x4 so there you go, and if I compare this, because um, one of my main concerns actually was, um, you know, uh, I was thinking it's going to be a, a bit more chunkier, but it actually feels lighter, a little bit less chunky. It actually doesn't add a lot of um, space to uh, the original. So that's the original uh, equalizer strap that I have in uh, had in my car. 
So I've decided to go with that now. So I'll put that aside. Uh, you know, doesn't don't necessarily need that, uh, or hopefully I won't need that anymore. All of them come with a bag. You know, well packaged when they arrive. And uh, like I said uh, in my last video, they're uh, locally made, so they're Australia made, made in uh, Queensland, and uh, they're actually handmade as well, and uh, Australian designed and uh, Australian tested. So, you know, it's a good product. Have a think about it. If you like them or if you've had any experience with them, please give us uh, some feedback. Let us know what you use to do your recoveries. And, uh, you know, uh, the other question is, do you trust the um, soft shackles for uh, snatching? That's always a, a bit of a, a debate around that one. So, you know, if you've got any uh, feedback, please let us know. Other than that, thanks very much for joining us uh, once again. And uh, we'll see you again next week. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Catch you again soon, guys. Thanks for coming.